Why? Why did the dog step on the bee? And why does it take me so long to put out a video? Welcome one and all to my music channel. I am Daryl Smith, in case you couldn't tell by the name of the channel down there. Still doing it. Today, we're gonna be talking about drummers. You know them, you love them. They keep you grooving, they keep you dancing, they keep you in time, they count you in. Without drummers, musicians would be lost, I think. But they all share one problem. Drummers, you know what I'm talking about. You get a sick groove in your mind. You get the feel for something. And you know what it is, you want to get behind the kit and you want to just lay down a fat groove. So you get on your throne, you pick up your sticks, you set the tempo in your head, and then just as you're away to hit that first cymbal, you're evicted. Get that out of here. We don't need real drums anymore. Hell, we haven't needed them for a long time, thanks to Toontrack and their Easy Drummer software. I've been using Easy Drummer right from the get-go. Easy Drummer 1, 2, and now we're on to Easy Drummer 3. Three brand spanking new kits, each with their own distinct sound and distinct room vibe. Each one coming with dozens of presets, not just from Toontrack, but also from legendary music producers and engineers. Now, rather than going through every single one of the presets and explaining every single detail about Easy Drummer 3, which I'm sure you could find on someone else's channel, we're gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna pick out my three favorite sounds from each of the kits. I'm gonna find a kit, of course, suited for metal music. I'm gonna find a kit suited for some hard rock music. And I'm gonna find a kit for some nice, smooth, yacht rock jazz. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favourite. And also, don't forget to hit the like button because it helps me in the algorithm. Enjoy!